Hello everyone. So I have ummed and ahed about making this little film because, wait for it, it's about money. Now, don't press stop. I promise you it is only a few minutes long and it's really important. Most of you know that it is you wonderful people who keep the church going. You come to church and you worship God. You give generously of your time and your talents and you give financially of your hard earned cash. But these are extraordinary times for us all. We keep saying it. And if you give regularly to St. John's or to St. Mary's or to St. George's or to St. Peter's, but now you find that you cannot because your circumstances have changed, please, please know that it's absolutely fine to reduce your giving accordingly. We completely understand. But there's another but. Most of our church costs aren't going away. There are bills still to pay. There is the diocese still to pay. And there are buildings and roofs still to maintain and to fix. Thanks to the government's furlough scheme, we can still pay with relative ease our staff, which is fantastic. However, there is no government furlough scheme for the church at large to bail us out. One of the things that has really moved all of us during recent weeks is how this hardship has brought about huge waves of altruism, of kindness, of generosity and of compassion. And it feels to me, as is always the case, when there is suffering and when there is struggle, that God's spirit is in fact more tangibly at work. People seem to be moved to turn again to the church. And I hope for a time, at least after all this is over, they will continue to do so. Perhaps that's something we could really pray for. Since our doors closed, our financial situation has got worse. Our income has gone down, our fundraising efforts have reduced and any income we have usually received from our buildings has also reduced drastically. Some of you also, as I've already said, have had to reduce your giving and others who give by envelope or by cash or in some cases by card when at church have not been able to do so simply because we haven't been there. So I'm asking all of you in this more reflective and generous time to prayerfully seek wisdom from God's Holy Spirit. Perhaps if you're like me, you actually find you have a bit more cash to spare all of those lattes and lunches and frivolous extras haven't been bought. So perhaps you're able to give a bit more to your church or to start giving regularly by standing order or in some cases by direct debit because you can not at the moment give physically at church on a Sunday. At present, we are all offering a lot more to God and to our neighbour than we usually do. And I think we're all realising that this is good and helps us to realise our true purpose, both as human beings and as Christians. In fact, doesn't it say somewhere that it is better and more blessed to give than to receive? Giving to your church financially, especially on a regular basis, is another way we give to God and our neighbour. So if you can do a bit more or you can start giving if you haven't before, please, I invite you to read the details that are attached with this little film and to prayerfully do what you can. So thank you. Thank you for all you give in so many ways for keeping the church alive during these strange days. And let's continue to care for each other, 
to pray for each other, to worship God together and to reach out with Jesus' compassion and love.